uh, okay, let's continue this uh, slide, okay? So, um, when we talk about to find the minimum value of the, the MSC value, okay, we differentiate. So, uh, we let it differentiate equals to zero to find the best A and B, uh, which is A star, B star, which is the best model. However, uh, practically, we, we usually we don't do this. Uh, usually, we don't do this. Okay, here's the reason why. Okay? okay, you can see that. Let's take a look at this view graph. Okay, let's write A right here, B right here. It's a three D figure. Okay, that is M S E value. Okay, so we have. And from 1 to 20. So we have a lot of data points right here. For example, I'm gonna data points right here. Okay? So uh, if I don't want to do any computation of uh, differentiation, what is the best strategy for you to find the best A, A star and B star? So, oops, sorry. So uh, the, the, the question is that um, if you don't want to do the differentiation, okay, because you have a lot of features. So basically, okay, the general form of our model to, uh, to evaluate the MS is like this. <clears throat> So um, basically, okay, your 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 form like this. I e one to twenty. Okay, for example, if we have twenty. However, if you have a lot of variables, for example, you have n features. So basically, your model looks like this. Okay, we use another symbol called theta. Okay, theta zero plus theta one. Okay, x one plus theta two x2 plus theta 3 x3 so on so forth until the last one theta n x n right minus obvious male to abstract it from y and then you square. So if you have multiple uh, features, so your uh, linear regression uh, function would like this. Okay, general form, you have n plus one parameters, just like a star and b star, okay? Theta zero, theta one, theta two, until uh, theta n to represent your model and minus y, Min minus y, okay, that is your MSE, right, MSE. Okay, and for example, you have 20 data points, so you need 20 data points to calculate the minimum value of MSE. So, uh, let's simplify it, okay? B, e, B, e, B, theta zero, right? A, that is theta y. For example, if we have only two, um, parameter okay we use a and b not theta zero and theta one okay that's the ms value is right here okay so if you input those 20 data points in your msc function and you can make a mesh mesh just like a one huh? you can make a mesh okay so any pair of a and b will represent a model Right, and we show the MSE value of this model at 
z 啊 ，z axis 就是 z 轴是往上哈 ，z axis。OK， so as we can see that it is a it is a mesh， and you can find the minimum the lowest point on this mesh， right？ So there's always a best a 星 a star b star or uh。Theta one star. Okay, if you use this notation, theta zero star, right here, which represent at this point as this combination of a star and b star or theta zero star, theta one star. There is uh, uh, the best model which you measure by MAC value. So there is always a match right here. So one of the best way to find this optimized value is looks like this. Okay. Look carefully, okay. Usually, usually, we randomly pick up a a and b value at time zero. At time zero, we randomly pick a pair of a a zero b zero. Let's say that a zero b. So it might be right here. A zero b zero. But apparently, it is not the optimized value of a of a and b, right? Of a and b. So basically, we observe, of course, using mathematic tools, we observe it should be on the on the mesh, and there is a direction, okay, from the perspective of b, uh, a 号 from the perspective of a, 我们从 a 的角度看。From the perspective A, right, it should be like this direction. If you go to this direction, from the perspective A, you can get smaller MSD value, 对吧？所以你往那个方向去，对 A 啊 ，A 是这一种 ，A 是这一种。你你只要往那边去 ，MSD 就会变小啊。所以 from perspective A, okay. The other parameter, okay, from the perspective of B. If you go to this direction, the green direction, okay, you can always find the small value of MSE if you go to this direction. So at time t equals one for the next one, okay, you go to the direction which makes your MSE smaller. So a zero goes to a one, b zero goes to b one, but Which direction? The 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 direction which on the surface, ah, 就是在这个平面上啊 And the direction, how how can we get this direction? By using partial differentiation, 也就是所谓的偏微分 It is a match. It is a function. It is a it is a curve. If you do partial differentiation, 偏微分 On a specific direction, 就在一个特别的轴上 then you can know which direction makes uh is the slope, 就是切线嘛啊 is the ten uh tangent line, tangent line 就是切线啊 is the tangent line. The direction of tangent line is the direction which you should go because in that direction you get smaller MSE value. So and so on and so forth, so on and so forth. So in this way, okay. In this way, let's use black one. Okay, in this way, then t at time t zero zero, you start from a random number, and at at time t one, okay, you maybe you go to this way, to this value, and t two, and you still go to this value, and so on, so forth, so on, so forth. For if you, uh, if you have enough. Time, okay. You just simply go to that direction, the smaller uh, MSC direction, and then you approach. You will be eating the 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 optimized point, okay. But at certain moment, okay, you have to look it very carefully, okay. This we have to change. For example, the blue one is the optimized one, okay. Maybe it's right here. Okay, that is the optimized one. Okay, so the black point is like here. You go to this direction, to this point, 
you go to this direction for this point, you go to this direction for this point, and for each round, 就是在每一组文 ，OK, you, uh, you have a stride. Stride 就是跨步的意思 ，OK, 跨步的意思 ，you have a stride, OK. If your stride is not is much, it is a little bit bigger than your distance, difference distance. You may accident accidentally, okay, go to on the other side. 就是如果你的跨步设定不好的话，你会不小心的跨太大步，然后略过 and you pass the optimized point to the other side. However, when you do the partial differentiation in next round, 你在下一轮做偏微分的时候，你会知道你走过头了。You know you you already pass. The optimized point. So at that point, you will go back to the other direction. Try to approach the the, the optimized point. Okay. So basically, ah,、uh, basically, if we draw this figure in two D, okay, thank you. It may looks like this. Okay. Here is the optimized point, and your trajectory. Trajectory 就是路径啊 Your trajectory may look like this. And you go to the other side, come back, go to come come the your trajectory may look like this. Okay, if you uh draw it in a two D way. Okay, is that okay? So basically, uh, that is the approach we use in machine learn、uh, in certain machine learning uh algorithm. Okay, we don't we don't calculate a star or b star or theta star directly. We just simply random select a value for a and b or for theta, and we do partial differentiation to see which direction we should go to next in next round, and we approach step by step, step by step, and we、we'll、try to、uh, approach the optimized point after several rounds. Okay, is it okay? okay. That is. The way,、uh, the way we do. Okay.、Uh, before I continue, I'd like to go to a very beautiful graph. It's right here. Where is it? Here. Okay. It's right here.、Uh, this approach is what we call gradient descent. Ah,、oh, gradient descent.、Uh, this graph is made by some okay certain. Okay, here is the reference. Okay, here is the reference. This graph is select as one of the most beautiful、uh, science view graph in two thousand eighteen. Okay, if I if I if I if, 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 I, if I remember it's okay. It describe. In a surface, a very complex surface. Why this surface is much complex than what we, what I show you before? Because it has multiple variables: x one, x two, x three, x n. Has multiple multiple variables. Okay, so here, here, the black point that is the random select starting point when you do gradient descent. So it will follow the direction of the current tangent line, 就是现在的切线啊。When you do partial differentiation, 就是你做做偏微分的时候的那个切线 ，and try to figure out where is the lowest point of the MSE. Okay, because we have multiple、uh, variables, so the MS MSE surface. Will be a little bit.、Uh, it's not that. It's not that smooth. Then I,、uh, then what I show to you. Okay. So by using this approach, okay, randomly select the one and do the differentiate and go to this direction and try to follow the tangent line and then you find the mean line and this value and at that value the combination. Okay.、Uh, so、uh, that is M S E. Right in here. Okay, we have theta. In here, that point is theta star, and at that point, the theta star is the best parameter 
for that model. Okay, apparently this is not a, a linear model, so but the concept is the same. Come on. Okay, let's get so that we can go back to previous one. Okay, so that is what we uh, would like to show you in linear regression. So that is a very basic um, uh, machine uh, model algorithm to help you to find the best parameters. Okay, theta star. But however, uh, in our life, not all the data is considered as linear. So sometimes we have nonlinear data, right? So let's take a look at this one. So uh, this code, okay, these two blocks of code. Um, if you run your, if you copy my code lab, and you can use my data because I upload certain data in my code lab, okay. So if you copy my data, you can run this code. If you simply just type all those code in your own code lab, it, is not, it, 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 it will not work because you don't have my data. In code lab, we have my, uh, you have my text, you have my code, and also you have my data as well when you copy my code lab. So make sure you understand this, okay? So this code check if you have my or not okay so we have three data set okay so that is a, a, a data okay the data number one uh, some x some y value data number two some x y value and data number three okay here is the first one called data number one okay the blue the blue point is one data data set number one right as we can see um, maybe Maybe it is the relationship between x and y is linear in data set number one. Uh, it looks like linear. So I, I use a, a package, okay, a, a Python package to analyze it. Okay. It draw the best linear line, okay, for this data set, okay. But what if this? Even if, because human being is so smart, so when we see these blue points, we may think that, okay, it does not look, it does not look like a linear relationship. However, you can still use the MAC value to, fi to find a, a linear line. So here is a linear line, the blue one, right? Blue one. However, uh, it is not, from our perspective, it is not linear. So here, I use this uh, package, okay? The order equals to two, right? Equals to, which means, I don't use y, y, a, x, plus b. I don't want to use such kind of linear relation to describe this data. Order of two means, I want to use this formula to describe the relationship between A and B, uh, between X and Y. So it will try to find the best order of two line, uh, which is the curve, to describe. So this is much better, right? It's much better. Okay. Or you can use this one, this specific function to help you to find the residual between y hat and y. Residual is Chinese translation Residual Chinese translation is chan cha. Oh, I find it a bit weird. Chan cha. Okay. Chan cha is just the cha meaning. Just just y and y hat the cha. You can find the residual value between uh, your y and y hat. So here is the residual, okay? So for, for some point, the residual is, for example, 0 0.6, okay? That base. So that is the residual. For a model who has less residual, there is a model who has just small the chan cha, then we consider it is a much better model, right? 
So you may you may try to yeah, I'm right here. Okay. Here. If you copy my collab, you can change this parameter from one to to two or to three to observe the residual of data set one, two, and three. Okay, if you, you can add, you can you just just simply change it to two or to three, and you execute it, and your kernel will uh, draw the figure for you and send it back to your browser. So you show show the result. You can see that when you uh, run the uh, data in uh, run the data set two or data set three, the residual is larger because uh, it is not like a linear map. Because, because it, when you use linear model to describe data 2 or data 3, it is not that appropriate. So the residual will be larger. So you can observe the residual of your data set and to compare with some other model to make sure your residual is small enough. Okay? Otherwise, maybe you have to change your model, for example, from linear to order of 2, order of 3, and so on and so forth. And any other model that we told you, uh, we will teach you in the future. Okay, so you can see that when you change it to two, the residual is larger, all right? Go to three, oh, three is another data set. Okay, when you plot number three, we can see that most of the data align with linear model. However, one of the data is far away from what we expect. And that is called outlier. It's called outlier. Usually when you when you uh when you use those training data to try to try to make a model, those outlier will affect a lot. When you do the model, as you can see here, if this outlier does is deleted, if you know it is out, it is an outlier, and you delete this data point, then you can draw a perfect linear regression line. As the green one, not the blue one. Okay, the green one, the green one, the green one. You can you can draw the perfect linear regression line for this data however because of the outlier okay the the, the model says okay the, the blue one is much better however as a human being we know that it's outlier so make sure when you try to analyze your data okay make sure you have observed the data before you make the model because sometimes, okay, because of um, because of because of um, wrong input, 就是你輸入資料的時候，你可能會輸不小心輸錯嘛，對不對？啊，結果你打錯字了嘛，結果它本來不應該在那裡，就是跑變成outlier了，對不對？Or uh, the data collection process has some uh, problem. 就是你收集資料的時候有些問題比如說這個人的身高原本是150公分你寫成150寸 some problem when you collect the data So you have to clean those data before you try to analyze this data Then you can get a better model okay? So you have to specify those outliers uh, We will teach you how to, We will, we will uh, cover some uh, outlier detection algorithm in, in the future In the future, okay? So that is, if you ignore this outlier, your linear regression line will be perfect. Okay, like okay. That is even worse. Okay, that is even worse. All those data are right here. So basically, if you draw a linear linear line, it should be like this, right? However, there here, there's an outlier. This outlier will dramatically affect your model generation, 就是你在产生这个model的时候, I will 
dramatically to the the 影响你的这个这个 model. So then it will be a big problem. So after you after you delete this outlier, okay, your model will much much better. Okay. So let's take a look at the uh, uh, real world example. Okay. This will uh, before we do the analysis. Okay. As I mentioned, we have to observe those data, right? The process, the the entire observation. Sometimes we call it EDA, exportatory data analysis. Chinese翻译成探索式的资料分析，也就是说你还不知道你资料长什么样子，你总要看看它嘛，对不对？所以你要先探索它长什么样子。所以这个应该是 this process. I mean, I mean, uh, exportatory data analysis should be applied before. You analyze your data, okay? You have to observe the data, okay? So I provide two data set, okay? One is for training, the other is for testing. This is called housing data, California housing data. Okay, we have two data set. One is trend, the other is test, okay? What it looks like, okay? For the training data, for the training data, the table looks like this, okay? We have total n. 是, 呃, 17,000 rows of data, okay? And how many columns we have? We have nine columns. So that means we have nine features. We have nine features. Longitude, latitude, housing, median age, total rooms, total bedrooms, population, household, media, blah, blah, blah. There are nine uh, there are nine columns to describe house in California. Okay. Uh, so if we take a look at the, 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 the index zero, okay, so that is somewhere in California, this longitude, latitude. So the house median range means in certain small area, the median and median just the median edge of this this small area, okay? The average the median age of housing is, is 15 years. Total rooms 5620 uh, 12 rooms. But it um, so it should be divided by this value because in this small area there are 472 households. Okay, ma? Is that okay? So in this small area, 472 houses in total, 5,612 rooms. Okay, so that is the, the data. Okay, so for testing, okay, we have 3,000 additional housing. Uh, data okay still have nine columns before you analyze your data okay I suggest you take a look at the information of this data so this specific function okay it says okay uh, we have nine columns okay long is landed housing blah 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 we have a nine house nine non nuo now okay you can you can pronounce it as n u l l you can pronounce it as now or no okay count okay so in total we have seventy thousand rows so it says okay all those values it are, are there there's no missing value so it's quite good and as we mentioned before you have to specify which type of uh, which type of data it is? It is a categorical data or is a numerical data? So it was float sixty four. It means it is a floating point number, which is just a number. Okay, make sure you understand that. And my first suggestion is to how to how how do we observe data to draw a histogram? Histogram. 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 Chinese翻译成 其实是直方图没有错，但是 histogram 它有它有一个意思是它是它的那个
下面数字必须是连续的。啊，比如说什呃岁数嘛，零到一百岁，所以它必须零到五岁、五到十岁这样一格一格这样连续的才叫直方。因为一般我们中文讲的直方图下面不一定要是连续的哈，所以它有一点像是 distribution， 但它不是 distribution， 它就是分组资料的直方图。好 ，so that is histogram. Okay, so basically we can take a look at the histogram. Okay, as you, so that you can get familiar with the training data you 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 you, you use here. So as we can see, well, it, there are several interesting things. For example, right here. Yeah. Uh, basically, there are several houses, which is uh, the median. The median age of these houses are larger than fifty, which means fifty years. Okay. So you have to think about that. Uh, maybe I should. Um, What you should do? Maybe you should set those bins. Ah, bins is a special word. It means the group of bins. You may set those bins in the other way, so that the data in those in this bin, okay, this bin is the house app larger than fifty years. The house median age is larger than fifty years. So that you can see the distribution of this house. Which is larger than fifty years. Okay, so that it so this uh this histogram is not that appropriate. The other thing you have to know is that it looks like it has double peak. Double peak 就呃统计出来有双峰的 distribution. Okay, so the e so either the house is less than twenty years or uh between thirty to forty years. Okay, so maybe you have to take a look at these things. Population, household, median income, median house value. Okay. Um, take a look at this one. Okay. Or uh, because it has longitude or latitude information, so you can draw those things in a map. So if you want to use map, you may try this. Okay. But uh, so you can see that that is California. Okay. It it looks like California, right? So here it is. Maybe a、uh, Bay Area or some San Francisco, some somewhere or Los Angeles. Okay, so that is、uh, you have to observe them. Okay, the other way to see, uh, since we we would like to know the relationship between different data, different features, so the best way is to draw the correlation between two features. Since we have nine, so we can draw a nine by nine matrix. Each cell represent the relation between two features. Ah, this is very simple, right? It's two lines, two lines. So、uh, we can see that.、Um, what is this one? So we can see that some data are highly linear correlation. Okay, for example, this one. You can see、uh, this one is household, the number of household in the area, and here is the total bedrooms. So that means, in a small area, if you have more household, right, then you should have more total bedrooms, which quite trivial. 就是听起来白痴嘛，就是真的没有错嘛，对不对 ？It's quite trivial. But for some other Um, features, it is not like that, okay. But some of them are quite look quite linear, okay, quite linear. That is the way you observe those data, okay. Even this one, okay. But for this one, we can see that、uh, there should be. It, it looks like a, a distribution, okay. <coughs> Okay, then let's take a look. What is the application would like to would 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 like to you uh would like to demonstrate? For example, we have one seven thousand data right here, right? We have a longitude, we have lat latitude. Okay, okay, a lot of data. Um, in this case, in this case, we would like to show what is the 
the y value is median house value and that is we have seven features right and one another feature used as a target so that is x and we have to predict predict y we want to use the seven features okay to estimate or to predict what is the median house value of this small area one seventeen thousand small uh, area okay so the question is how do we do this kind of prediction so the first things we uh, we, we, we may think about is what if I use linear regression as we mentioned before to do such kind of data modeling and try to use it as a prediction model okay but which one among those seven features which one is more promising so basically you have to think about is is right here this column okay this column is, is our y is our is the median house value which one of the which one yeah okay which one of these seven features is much more promising to predict the y which is the, the price of this house the house value so basically we will choose uh, several uh, features which is which it looks like which looks like much more linear so that when we apply linear regression uh, it might be as a uh, very low ms value okay so that is maybe this one okay this one is median house value the other uh, this one is median income so maybe median income is a proper feature to model this these houses and to help us to predict the house value okay so here's that uh, basically we, uh, we, we in this matrix we try to draw and we try to draw the correlation okay I, I believe you you understand how to uh, how to calculate correlation value? Uh, 就是我相信你应该都知道怎么算那个 So we can just ask Python okay, to plot this table okay, It shows all the correlation value between any two pair of the features okay so for median right here median income okay it has a very relative higher value 0 0.69 okay so it is promising or maybe it is promising okay so uh, where is it right here okay yes. so we use a package okay I, I'm afraid I am afraid you have to learn this package by yourself okay uh, I think it is not that <coughs> difficult okay just follow some example just follow my example okay so that it has a very convenient function called linear regression so you don't have to calculate all those uh, differentiated things you just input all your data and ask the package to give you the optimize parameter of the linear uh, linear regression answer so here is the answer here's the answer here is the optimized answer the median house value equals to what seven different features right seven features and each features has a factor as we mentioned, y equals to a x plus b, right? So the a right here is the, is right here, right? It's right, here. and the b right here is right here. So you don't have to worry about how to calculate this, uh, this factors, this a and b. I can optimize a and optimize b. Uh, 
package already okay did for you so you simply just uh, apply those uh, tools okay so the best the optimized linear uh, linear regression of median house value and these seven features like this okay so um, that's it so we can take a close look at these things these values okay so here is it the first thing we have to take a look is the plus the median house value is correspond to those things okay for example if your housing median age is larger and your median house value will increase one year of median age will increase 1150 your uh, house value so the, the question is is it reasonable does it make sense for you okay the other one is that oops So next question is, the more bathroom you have, the higher house value you have, right? And so on and so forth, so on and so forth. Does that make sense for you? Maybe, yes. The, the, uh, I, I'm not sure the answer is yes or no. Maybe the yes is as well. But every time you do such kind of uh, analyze, and the linear regression result shows that you have to think about is that make sense for you maybe the answer is yes maybe it's not so make sure you think about it before you announce those results okay I don't have correct answer but you have to think about it by yourself okay why do we believe that the real world data is related and can be modeled like that do you believe this word is linear? Okay, then we can okay, raise your hand. Do you believe this world is linear? Do you believe this world is linear? Okay, uh, in the classroom, they, they said, the word is much more like non-linear than linear. Uh, from my experience of analyzing data, most of the data in the real world, okay, is much more like non-linear. So basically, when we use linear regression to analyze data, make sure your target and your feature are truly linear related. Otherwise, I strongly recommend you use some other nonlinear regression model to model your data. Okay, that is just an uh, just an experience to sh uh, share with you. Okay, so here is it. Um, so since we have training data and we have testing data, so we use training data to make that linear model right so that and after that we can use the testing data to do prediction to calculate y hat by using those testing data and try to observe the difference the dif the difference between y hat and y in this testing data so here is it the blue line is the actual data which is y right the y the predict data is y hat y hat so uh, y hat so uh, as you can see uh, 
Oops. As we can see, okay, the testing data looks like it's quite similar, quite uh, fit with the model, right? The difference, of course, it is difference, but the difference looks um, quite good, right? This looks quite good. Um, so. Why, why can we use uh, why, why, why this application can succeed can successfully do such kind of prediction because we believe the training data is large enough they cover many many different types of small area of house and the model it can really describe those data by using the model. So when you apply the testing data by using this model, the model already seen similar data in the training data. So it output similar result for that testing data. So the testing data can have such kind of results similar. The actual value and the predicted value are close enough. So then we can use this model to predict the house value. Okay? Yeah, I think that's a bit enough. So uh, we, we stop right here. Okay, there are some additional things, but uh, we can cover it only, yeah, only one topic. We can cover it later. Okay? So that is the class today. Uh, we introduce what is model and what is the, how do we do model uh, as a model comparison, use MSE or use L1 function or two function, and how in practice in reality we use a random parameter and try to use differentiation, uh, partial differentiation to find the optimized uh, parameters and to find the best model. Okay, and we show you some cases by by using uh, linear regression. Okay. So um, make sure you understand all those things. For all the other algorithms, they are just simply Okay, one of the, one of the student asks uh, the the project how many how many students form a group. Uh, which we we still don't know because we don't have the final list of this class. Okay, next week I will have the final list of the enrollment. So maybe we I will answer the, this question next week. It depends on how many students we have, how many time we have to do the presentation. Maybe two, maybe three, or even maybe one. Okay. So that is. Okay, make sure you understand those basic things because all the other algorithms are just some, just the other way to make this model. But basically, how to find the optimized parameters, how to estimate those MSE value, how to do a differentiation, they are all the same. Okay, they are all the same. Okay, let's stop here.